Hi, everybody. Welcome to the QB School. I am JT O'Sullivan. Today, special edition, NFL versus CFL. What are the two different games like? Are they similar? Where are the differences? What were the different experiences like? We are diving into it. Let's get it going. Welcome to the QB School. So the idea for this video came from MXM Kelso. Hey, JT, I was wondering if you could do an overview of how the CFL offense works and compares to the NFL as far as formations and all the motion pre-snap. I've always wondered what the plays sound like as far as how the motions are called and did you find it easier or harder to find open guys with all the motions? Thanks. Great question. I have wanted to do this video or this type of video for a long time, really for a number of different reasons. Uh, one, because I really just had a great experience playing in Canada. It was at the very end of my playing career and really glad that I went up and did that for a number of different reasons. But I will get to the answer to the question eventually. But the first thing that I want to say about that experience was just I had a blast. The people up there were great. The fans were awesome in Saskatchewan. Got a chance to visit every major city, not every major city, many of the major cities in Canada and really enjoyed my time. Great teammates, good people fun organization in uh, Regina, was glad I did it. Now, the differences. The main difference for me was just the space. And so what do I mean by that? I mean, the field is way bigger, wider, longer, end zones deeper. Obviously, there are some rules things. There are many rules things, way beyond the scope of this video. But the ones that impacted me the most were really just how I thought about the game. I think originally I went up there thinking that it's basically every start of the series is second and 10 and you're basically in a parking lot as far as how wide the field is because that throw to the field to the wide side is like throwing like across the parking lot in a tailgate. It's impossible. It's a beast of a throw. So that extra player also makes a bit of a difference, a little bit defensively just being able to do multiple things to that field side or wide side. But in general, once you get past that, it's really the same. It's just football. There's a lot of carryover in the run game, a significant amount of carryover in the pass protection game. I would say pure volume of stuff you're going to do, CFL versus NFL, at least my limited anecdotal experience, was much less than you would carry in a NFL organization. But it wasn't small by any means. It was a comprehensive package that allowed us to attack uh, all sorts of levels of the field, areas of the field, different run game, pass protection, naked boots, comprehensive in that regard. I will say it did take me a little bit of time, and I don't know if I ever got really used to all the pre-snap movement. Coming from a guy who likes to, in a perfect world, play fast, be able to see things pre-snap, that really doesn't happen, the pre-snap thing, at that in that CFL game. Because people are always moving, uh, and it's really a huge advantage for the offense, obviously, to be running full speed at the line of scrimmage, especially if you have guys who are, can time it up and be really explosive, dynamic, quick like that in the passing game in the perimeter. It's just such a massive advantage to be able to run downhill at a DB. That being said, I have heard whispers about how different teams and organizations did it as far as sometimes it was just like, hey, be where you're supposed to be at the snap, and I don't care how you get there. I think Saskatchewan, before I got there, was a little bit of that. We did a little bit more of a motion called or one guy is going to do this specific motion. Everybody else kind of like time it up and go towards the line of scrimmage. If I remember correctly, I don't really remember, you know, exactly what we called every single concept formations. I just remember knowing that I was going to try to find uh, Weston Dressler if he was available. But other than that, there were a number of really good position players uh, across the league, really. I thought the quarterback play was pretty strong, athletic, playmaker types. But the thing that really changed my thinking, and that, again, there are a number of rules. There's a bunch of kicking rules through the end zone, kick the ball on the ground when it's a fumble, craziness, different rules. But the one that really got me was it's not so much uh, that it's you start with second and 10 or that, or that there are only three downs. So there is no fourth down. It's just on third down is your fourth down. It's that the line of scrimmage, the defense has to be a yard back. So I went into it thinking it's second and 10. It's really second and nine. Because if anything, if third and one is available, it's almost a guaranteed sneak for a first down. And really they have packages for the backup quarterback, most times the backup quarterback, to go in there and run quarterback sneaks. And it's almost like a, 
extended kind of like sneak down the line of scrimmage. You just go until you find a gap and fall forward. And so that part of it, different. Uh, but as far as the timing, the concepts, you know, those types of carryover, obviously the volume con condensed. But the biggest difference for me coming from the league, well, there are a number of differences. Obviously, the pay is different. Uh, the travel is a little bit different. Those types of things. The talent depth is a little bit different, significantly different. But for me, just playing the position, the passing game was different in that I was used to a little bit more what I would say precision as far as the expectations about where people are supposed to be when they're supposed to be there. And it's just impossible to ask them to do that when we're running kind of with this like fluid motion downhill in the pre-snap motion. And so it just changes the game where it's a little bit looser as far as finding space, uh, a little bit more generous with the timing of what things look like and where you're supposed to be and how you're supposed to turn things down and find open areas. And so I never really was super comfortable with that, especially not being up there a long time, building relationships with understanding where guys were trying to be all the time. Those types of things for me, I just didn't love because almost no anticipation just because you have to see it, throw it. And you really don't have to anticipate when the guy's running 10 yards full speed head start, you know, there's going to create some separation. And so that part of it for me was always just a little bit uncomfortable. And so I don't know if that is a great answer to the question, but the pre-snap motion to me was fun because it was such an offensive uh, kind of bonus that you got to be able to run at a defender, such an advantage. But it really muddied a lot of what I think are quarterback pre-snap pattern recognition things that just don't exist. And it's less about them being an extra player on the field and the width of the field and the, the length and more about just kind of the, the murkiness, the cloudiness of what that looks like as opposed to ever getting a clean pre-snap kind of vibe and kind of pattern recognition of a game or of an opponent because everything is just kind of always in motion, a little bit more dynamic, fluid than I think we play down here in the States. So finally, was it easier or harder to find guys open in the CFL? I think a little bit of both. Uh, the motion downhill certainly makes it easier for guys to separate. You got that momentum going at the defense. But it also, uh, in my experience, led to a lot less precision in the timing and kind of anticipation game of what the quarterback position was and is to me and was the previous decade playing in the league. And so kind of a tough transition, but fun. Glad I did it. Glad I got the experience. Thanks for hanging to the end. I will see you next time. Have a good one.